We need to eat a bunch of cave access to the party lords here. I know I don't like talking about politics on this channel, and that's for two reasons. Number one, none of you came here for my biases. Number two, my biases generally suck. I'd elaborate what I mean, but I don't think I quite have the time for that. I'm here to jump on a bandwagon and say why you should support net neutrality. Chances are you've heard this term before. If you have, skip to this point in the video. To quote the University of California, Berkeley, net neutrality is a network design parad- parad- pa Hold on. Hold on. I- I don't- it. Paradigm. <laughs> net neutrality is- a network design paradigm that argues for broadband network providers to be completely detached from what information is sent over their networks. Can't understand? This means that internet service providers have to give you anything and everything you search up and want to visit without censorship or discrimination of any kind. For example, if, let's say Verizon was very Republican, they cannot force you away from a democratic propaganda website and vice versa. Overall, net neutrality gives everyone a chance to explore without an ISP keeping you on a leash and blindfold. Hot. As of late, the Federal Communications Commission has been pushing a proposal to remove this crucial net neutrality law from the government. Well, you remember the no discrimination thing from earlier? Say goodbye to that. If you're a Democrat on a hypothetically radical Republican ISP, your journey to that website will be slowed to a halt. And you want to know the kick out of this one? Let's say they aren't going to completely cut you off that website. Instead of blowing up the path to democracy.org, they'll instead block with a paywall. They not only will have the freedom to block democracy.org, but any website they damn please can be blocked. That means our precious memes are at stake of being blocked by a paywall or just being flat out inaccessible due to not appealing to their political agenda or because they fucking feel like it. First of all, no, it's not gonna die today, you freak. It's gonna die three weeks from today. Second, as I've stated previously, I do not like talking about politics on this channel. I'll be honest, I'm chicken and that's not just- I'm I'm- I'm chicken in two ways. First of all, I'm half a chicken, because I'm panda chicken. But like, the second re- the second thing is like I'm a coward. I- I- I back out of stuff. I'm terrified of backlash if I accidentally say something wrong. But now I realize that I should start to stop giving a fuck about what people think and speak up for myself. Because they're not me. And I can speak for myself. For my own happiness. If you're not from America, make people aware this is happening. There has always been a trend of other countries influencing each other in some way. If the great global superpower country, aka the United States of America, decides to place this law, then any other country is at risk at following. Now, I'm not saying that this is definitely what will happen, but it is a very probable outcome. Decrease this outcome by making anyone you can aware. I also believe donating to nonprofit organizations such as BattleForTheNet.com and ResistBot will help them get the funds they need to spread their message to the government and to keep their information up on their servers. Also, a quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm doing this because uh, I have the right freedom of speech and I am supporting the people who are protecting it. No, no one's supporting me except for myself. If you are from America, pick up your phone and computer and make calls, send emails and faxes, anything to get in contact with your representatives to keep Title II from being removed by the FCC. It is very crucial to let people in government know that we are not happy with net neutrality being removed by the FCC. Join many others' voices to help the movement. Go to battleforthenet.com to get an instant connection to Congress to tell them to fuck off with removing net neutrality laws. If you're scared of calling your representatives because you're socially awkward like me, use ResistBot. ResistBot is an easy, non-profit, free-to-use message bot designed to help tell your representatives in your area what you need to tell them to make your voice heard. As an American, I am quick to defend the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. For ISPs to hinder this law by censoring our paths to others' voices, including others' paths to mine, is a violation of this amendment our founders fought so hard to keep. Keep the most important invention of our times information accessible to all without extra fees nor discrimination.